let's just do a thing here. Teach us something about linear algebra and why we care. Okay? So you're used to hopefully doing a regression occasionally. And you've done a regression with this kind of an equation. Okay? Okay? Now, just so you know, if this is a polynomial, this is really x to the 1. Right here is x to the 0, but it, so we can kind of ignore that. But we'll be back to that in a second. Okay? Can we write this out the way we would write out a regression equation in matrix form? Okay? So this is 1x. What happens if there's lots and lots and lots of x's? I have to write out. I don't want to do that. Okay? So I've got lots of x's, x to the n, right? Whatever I've got. Here I go. So I'm going to write something that looks like this. All right, now let's suppose I have four observations. Okay. And I have A and B. Yes. So I have two coefficients I want to calculate, right? Two coefficients. I have one variable, that one variable is B, and then I have A, which is my intercept, right? Okay. Now, I know what X is. X is my data, my X part of my data, my independent variable part of my data. I know what Y is. Y is my Y part of my data. So it's B I want to solve for. I need B to stand all by itself. This is a four by two matrix. Okay. Why? It's a four by one, sorry. See, you're already messing me up. I'm blaming you all. That's a four by one. I have four observations. Right? And there's only one y in a regression, so it's a 4 by 1. x is a 4 by 2. I want to find two things. I want to find a and b. Okay? b is the a and the b. It's a 2 by 1. Okay? It's the a and the b. And this works, right? So the 2s are there, the 4 and the 1. This is a 4 by 1. That's a 4 by 1. The math all works. But I can't solve this. I need to get I need to get the B, the B, the B all by itself. Okay? Are we excited by that? Alright. Alrighty then. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? So I've got x beta equals y. I need to get rid of this, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna multiply both sides of my equation by x prime, okay? So I've got x prime x beta equals x prime y. Can I do that? Well, this is a 4 by 2, that's a 2 by 1, this is a 2 by 4, that's a 2 by 4 by a 4 by 1, so that's a 2 by 1 and that's a 2 by 1, so I can do that, okay? So I have x transpose x beta equals x transpose y. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Can I do that? I can do that. Now, 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 the point of this, you're saying, what's the point? I need to do division, but I can't do division. I can only find the inverse. 
okay? X inverse isn't going to work. Why not? I can't do that. X is 4 by 2. To take the inverse of a matrix, it has to be square, right? I can only find the inverse of a square matrix. But if I take X inverse X, that's a 4, that's a 2 by 4 and a 4 by 2. That together, that matrix afterwards is a 2 by 2. Now that has an inverse, provided it has the right rank, okay, which means no multicollinearity in our data. And here we are. Now, what can I do? Well, now I can find this, right? That's what I want. So now I'm going to say X transpose X inverse, X transpose X beta equals X transpose X inverse X transpose Y. This, what do we know about this? Well, a number times its inverse is an identity matrix. It's one. So I have an equation. Beta equals X transpose X inverse X transpose Y. All right, you're like, so? My response to so is, this is the ordinary least squares equation. Yes, it is. Now it's the long way, okay? But let's suppose, let's suppose that I have the following data. I have Y, which is 30, 50, 70, and 70, and 90, and I have X, which is 10, 20, 30, and 40. Okay? That's my X and my Y. Now, all I'm gonna do, that's not this X. Why not? Because there's nothing for the intercept in here, okay? There's no litty bitty intercepty thing in here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I have a matrix Y, and that matrix Y is this. And I'm gonna say I have a matrix X, which has four ones in it, plus 10, 20, 30, and 40. The ones will get me my intercept. It's a constant, right? X to the zero equals one. Okay, so these are all ones. The intercept multiplied times one. So that's X and that's Y. So, yes, you're looking at me. I know you're going, I shouldn't have started watching this video. I shouldn't have. Yes. So, X transpose equals X transpose, right? Would be this. X would be this. Yes, that's X and X transpose. Okay, so multiply those together. Can we do that? Can we multiply them together? What are we going to get if we do that? Okay. So we're going to take the row times the column, add everything up. That's 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 is 4. We're going to take the row times the column, 1 times 10, 1 times 20, 1 times 30, 1 times 30, 40, 40 plus 30 plus 10, that's 100. Then we're going to take row times column, right? Take this row, this this row now times this column, and it's the same thing. It's 10 times 1, 20 times 1, 30 is 100. 
and then this row times this column, which is 100, 400, 900, and 1600, right, is 3000. We all on board? Choo-choo train thing, all on board? That is X transpose X. Now, I have to invert it, yes? So I have to find C, yes? C is 3,000, four, minus 100, minus 100. Yes. So adjoint A, because C is a symmetric matrix, adjoint A is also going to be 3,000 minus 100 minus 104. Yes? 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 Is that exciting? Isn't this exciting? Aren't we like excited? No? Okay. What's that? Now, right? A, by the way, remember that A equals X transpose X. Yes? Adjoint of X transpose X, or de determinant of X transpose X, equals 12,000 minus 10,000. Right? You with me? Is 2,000. Okay, I can see that you are very excited by this. I can see that. S even though I'm not in the same room with you. So we're going to take that as a scalar and multiply it times adjoint, or divide it by adjoint A, right? One over that. If we do that, we get X transpose X inverse equals one over 2,000 times 3,000 minus 100 minus 100 and 4, which is 1.5, yes, minus 1 over 20, minus 1 over 20, and minus 1 over 500, plus 1 over 500. Okay, that's X transpose X inverse. And you're like, <laughs> trust me on this. This is very exciting. You don't get to do exciting stuff like this every day. Now, now all I want to do is multiply X transpose times Y. So X transpose was this. And Y is this, right? So this is a two by four, this is a four by one. Yes, the result's gonna be a two by one. It's gonna be one times 30, one times 50, one times 70, one times 90, so that's 90 plus 70 plus 50 plus 30 is 240. And then it's going to be 10 times 30, 20 times 50, 30 times 70, and 40 times 90. Turns out to be 7,000, right? And that's X transpose Y, which is a 2 by 1. Isn't this good? This is good. You're like... Yes. No. You should be. So now I have X transpose X inverse, and I have X transpose 
Why? This is a 2 by 2. That's a 2 by 1. That's going to equal beta, which is a 2 by 1. This is so cool, isn't it? So cool. You've always wanted to be your own Excel spreadsheet, yes? So it's 1.5 minus 1 over 20 minus 1 over 20. 1 over 500. 240 and 7,000. Okay. Yes? Yes. So that equals, you can say it, 1.5 times 240. Yeah. Plus a negative 1 20th of 7,000. And the next one is start with that, right? Row, column, row, column, yes? Is minus 120 times 240 plus 1 500th of 7,000. And if we do that math, that's 10 and 2. Y equals 10 plus 2 times B. 2 times X, rather. Oh, 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 this is, this is, yes! Get down on your knees and pray time. We have solved regression. And how we know we have solved regression is because we know linear algebra. Now we can do all kinds of stuff with this. We can weight things. We can do other stuff. There's all kinds of cool stuff we can do. And most of the time in the modern world, we like to do fancier techniques because we want our article accepted. And, you know, if you use a simple technique, they'll go, oh, your article's really great, but the technique is too simple. Another, but if you have crappy article and great technique, they'll go, oh, this is really cool that you have such advanced technique on your crappy data, and then they publish it. Yeah. Okay, do we got this? And give me a second, and I will prove to you, prove to you beyond a doubt, that this is it. And hopefully you know what this means. We have a regression here, X and Y which are exactly the values that we just calculated. And down here for the coefficients, we get 10 and 2. It's so exciting.